The following teaching is possible thanks to the friends and partners of Spirit and Truth Fellowship International. Have you ever experienced the effect where you, say, purchase a certain car and then all of a sudden you notice all the other same types of cars on the road? For instance, let's say I go out and I buy a Volkswagen and then all of a sudden I I start seeing all these Volkswagens wherever I go. It's not that the number of Volkswagens have increased, it's that I'm more sensitive to their presence. Well, in a similar way, Over the last couple weeks, I've immersed myself in the topic of the spiritual battle. I'm going to be attending a conference here soon, and I've been asked to do a presentation on the nature of our our enemy, uh, Satan, the types of tactics and and, uh, motives and moves that he uses. In other words, I've been sensitized to the spiritual battle. As a result, last night, Lori and I we caught a break here and my sister Teresa came over watched our kids so we were able to go to dinner and then to the movies well as I'm sitting there watching the trailers to all of the movies that they're promoting I was amazed I was I actually was just like wow now granted it's been months since I've been to a movie but what really surprised me was I was seeing things that I really had become desensitized to before. There were themes that were clearly evil, language, um, just all kinds of things that were embedded in these movies. In one situation, there were some young girls, teenage girls, who the entire movie was over the topic of, of all their types of sexual practices and things like this. And of course, they're put in humorous settings and, and, you know, kind of bizarre scenes so that you would laugh and you would make lightheartedness of it. And a lot of the people around me were, you know, laughing. And I, I was amazed. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at what's happening here. It's not that any of the evil increased. It's that I've become more sensitive to it. And see, that's exactly one of the tactics of the enemy. In John 8, 44, Jesus said that the devil is a liar. In fact, he called him the father of lies and said he's been a liar since the beginning. Deceit, lies, counterfeiting, this is one of his primary tactics. And how does he do it? He does it by slowly and incrementally increasing the lies. He gets us to accept a small lie, which then is a small step on the journey to beginning to accept his bigger scheme of lies. As we sit there and become immersed in all of the media and all of the things, pretty soon we become desensitized. It's like that proverb of the frog that's put into the pot. How do you boil the frog? you slowly turn up the heat. And by time the time comes around where the frog realizes, hey, I'm in serious trouble here, it's too late. He's in boiling water. In the same way, the devil uses a desensitizing mechanism to get us to the point where evil can be called good and good evil. The thing that we need to do is to be aware that bad company corrupts good character, that the devil is always at work to desensitize us to his evil, and he does it by slowly turning up the heat. We need to be aware, we need our spiritual eyes open. Yes, you'll call things out and they'll call you, you know, uh, falsely label you, but again, that's another one of the tactics of the enemy. The fact of the matter is, God defines what is good, God defines what is evil, and the devil is always at work trying to desensitize us to his moves, his methods, and to his primary scheme, which is deceit by spreading lies.